How many first-time visitors do we have? Would you like to stand up and get a prophetic word? If not, stay seated if you're scared. No, she's going to, I'm standing up, she says. What's your first name? Sandra. Sandra, Sandra I just hear the Lord saying that, that you came at the proper time as a first-time visitor because this message is going to be tailored primarily for you, for God saying, I'm taking from the old and I'm going to bring the fresh as well as the familiar. I'm going to stir up some of the gifting in you. You have a teaching gift within you and you have a musical gift within you. And God's saying, I'm going to take those gifts and I'm going to cause them to flourish in the days ahead. I'm going to break through any barriers of shyness or intimidation and I'm going to cause the lion of the tribe of Judah to roar out of you. There's going to be a roar come out of Zion and it's going to come forth from your innermost being. God says, you're going to decree and declare. You're going to start writing some of these things down. And God's going to basically say, even in this message, I'm going to, I'm going to use it as a catalyst to get the gold out of you and into a release of the flow of the Spirit like never before. So get ready to flow. Go. In Jesus' name. And I'm hearing the Lord say that I've given you a tender and faithful heart says God, and he's looking down on you as a beloved daughter. And I'm hearing the Lord say that because you are teachable, because you have a rare humility, you're willing to learn, the Lord says, I'm going to begin to open up things to you that I couldn't entrust to other people. The Lord says your whole world is about to change, says the Spirit of God. Let those that, okay. Oh, we have another brave one. What's your first name? Double Sandra. Double Sandra. <laughs> By the way, do you know when you get a prophetic word that if your attitude is proper, you can open up your heart and receive the same thing? God can say in you too. Huh? You like that idea? Now, if you sit there and you hear and they go, hmm, I know that person and they, I don't think they should be getting that word. You're not going to receive anything. Okay? So have a proper attitude. I've had pastors upset with me prophesying to their troublemakers. But their troublemakers had potential. God had a plan for those troublemakers. He didn't want them making trouble. He wanted them to pull the gold out of their lives. So don't judge, right? Discern. Okay, Sandra, go ahead. Sandra, I hear the Lord say that um, you're coming to the end of a long journey and the Lord says there have been some things that seemed lost and some things that you've given up on and the Lord is going to bring those back to the front burner the Lord says they weren't lost at all daughter because I was just adjusting some attitudes in your heart and I was teaching some things you some things but the Lord says you've learned your lessons and and so the Lord says let the past be the past and open up your heart with hope and look toward the future for I have good things ahead for you and I'm going to open some doors in your life and the Lord says I've already prepared you to yes. go through those doors so the Lord says let the peace be your guide and go through the doors that I open this must be significant because Jennifer's just literally reading everything that's in me. Doors, 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 doors. You're, you're going to open up door number one and not be wrong. You're going to open up door number two and not be wrong. You're going to open up door number three and not be wrong. God says, I'm opening doors of opportunity. Don't be afraid to go in them. And actually, God can guide you when you're in motion. So if there's, if there's a, a place in which he doesn't want you, he'll say, oh, so you tried to go there, but that was wrong learn from it and say, I don't want to do that again. I'm going to go this way. But he says, I'm going to be like the wind in your sails. I'm going to blow through your mind, will, and emotions by my spirit, and I'm going to set you to where you are soaring and sailing in the things of God. But keep the doors open. And, and like Jennifer says, I, I get the same thing, is that there's, you shut some doors in the past because of mistakes. And, and God says, uh, it just wasn't the right time, but you were on the right track, and you had the right promises, and you had the right purposes. In Jesus' name, timing, timing, timing. Amen. And then right here. We're... First name? Jacqueline. 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 Go ahead. Jacqueline, I hear the Lord say that he's going to bring some old relationships into your life, that there, there are some people that um, seem to have been lost. I don't know if there were offenses or um, broken relationships, but the Lord says he's going to 
begin to bring people back into your life. And the Lord says, I'm going to set up brand new divine appointments with those people, and they're going to be brand new connections. And the Lord says, some of the people you've given up on are going to prove instrumental to getting you to the next place where uh, your spiritual life where you're supposed to be. So the Lord says, it's good to have proper boundaries. It's good to have wisdom. But the Lord says, open your heart to those things that I'm going to show you in the days ahead. Mm -hmm. And in, in, in the concept of keeping the heart open to the relationships, he's saying don't burn bridges. But yes, like Jennifer says, boundaries can be good for a season. And also relationships change as you grow. Not everybody wants to go on the same path to more of Jesus. And so it's not that you're dismissing them, but you're moving on into new relationships that can take you to a, to a deeper, richer level in the things of God. Amen. Amen. You may be seated.